Good morning. Thank you for joining us on the Solemnity of the Most Holy Sacred Heart of Jesus. Our Mass intention is for the deceased members of Our Lady of the Wayside. The, de the designs of his heart are from age to age to rescue their souls from death and to keep them alive in famine. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My sisters, my brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. My almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the heart of your Son, wounded by our sins, bestow on us in mercy the boundless treasures of your love, grant, we pray, that in paying him by homage of our devotion, we may also offer worthy reparation through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, You are a people sacred to the Lord your God. He has chosen you from all nations on the face of the earth to be his people, people peculiarly his own. It was not because you are the largest of all nations that the Lord set his heart on you and chose you, for really you are the smallest of all nations. It was because the Lord loved you and because of his fidelity to the oath he had sworn to your fathers that he brought you out from his strong hand from the place of slavery and ransomed you from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Understand then that the Lord your God is God indeed. In faith, God keeps his merciful covenant down to the thousandth generation toward those who love him and keep his commandments. But he repays with destruction a person who hates him. He does not dally with such a one, but he makes them personally pay for it. He shall therefore, he shall therefore carefully observe the commandments, the statutes, and the decrees that enjoin on you today. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial is, the Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. Bless the Lord, O my soul. All my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. He pardons all your iniquities, heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction, crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. 
In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only son into the world so that we might have life through him. In this is love. Not that we, are, not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as expiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also must love one another. No one has ever seen God, yet if we love one another, God remains in us and his love is brought to, perfect, to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in him and he in us, that he has given us his spirit. Moreover, we have seen, we have seen and testify that the Father sent his Son as Savior of the world. Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in him and he in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love God has for us. God is love, and whoever remains in love remains in God and God in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your blessing, Father. My only God bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. For although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and, lean and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. The solemnity of the most sacred heart of Jesus can be seen as an old, outdated celebration in the church. It might be seen as one of those ancient feasts that have little meaning in our lives today. But nothing can be further from the truth. The Sacred Heart of Jesus is exactly what we need to know, experience, and receive in our lives today. His heart, that heart which was pierced by the lance and from which flowed blood and water, is the sign, symbol, and source of the burning love of his very soul. The blood is an image of the most holy Eucharist, and the water is an image of the cleansing waters of baptism. This celebration of the Sacred Heart of Jesus is a celebration of Jesus pouring out on us his whole life and all of his love. He held nothing back, which is symbolized by the pouring forth of the last drop of his blood and water from his heart as he hung there on the cross. Though it's a very graphic image, it's, a grim, it's an image to make a point. The point is that he held nothing back. We need to realize that Jesus continues to give us everything, but only if we are willing to receive it. If you are finding that you need to know his love more deeply in your life today, try spending time reflecting on this passage from the Gospel of John. But one soldier thrust his lance into his side, and immediately blood and water flowed out. Spend time reflecting upon that last self-gift, the gift of the water and blood flowing from his wounded heart. It is, it is a sign of his infinite love for us. 
reflect upon it being poured out especially for you. See it, be immersed in it, and be open to it. Let his love transform and fill you. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Knowing that we are loved by Father, we bring before him our needs with confidence that we will be heard. For Pope Francis, our bishops, priests, and all who serve the church, may the Lord strengthen them in their mission of bringing the light of Christ to a weary world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our God prayer. Pray. For civic and community leaders, may the Holy Spirit help them to lead peacefully and work cooperatively. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who feel abandoned, unwanted, or rejected, may the compassionate love of God bring them hope, healing, and consolation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our faith community, May the Lord deepen our understanding of his love at work in our midst. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died in the light of Christ, may his sacred our heart envelop them in his love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation, may we find peace, healing, and reconciliation during this time of unrest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the deceased members of Our Lady of the Wayside, for whom this Mass is especially being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers and petitions in our Parish Book of Intentions, and for those we hold in the quiet of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, Hear our prayers and continue to answer them, giving us all that we need. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed our Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness, we have received the bread, we offer fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed our Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine, we offer fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, we pray under surpassing charity in the heart of your beloved Son, that what we offer may, may be a gift acceptable to you and an expiation of your offerings through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for rise up high on the cross. He gave himself up for us with a wonderful law and poured out blood and water from his precious side, the well spring of the church's sacraments, so that one over the open heart of the Savior all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as with our end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, <clears throat> heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the, the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the fall, so that they may become for us the blood and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> The mystery of faith. When we, we eat, eat this, this bread and drink, and drink this cup, we proclaim, we proclaim your, your death, O Lord, Lord until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the blood and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, bless our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him, with him, in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honors yours for ever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. 
at the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you. you. Peace, peace with be you. with you. Peace with you, Shalom. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, take you take away the sins of the world. Of the world. Have mercy peace. on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, take you take away the peace. sins of the world. Grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Amen. Prayer of Spiritual Communion as prayed by Pope Francis. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Thus says the Lord, let whoever is thirsty come to me and drink. Streams of living water will flow from within the one who believes in me. Let us pray. May this sacrament of charity, O Lord, make us free with the fire of holy love, so that drawn always to your Son, we may learn to see him in our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Before final blessing, I would like to share with you beautiful prayer what St. Francis of Assisi gave us. St. Francis wrote, Lord, make us to walk in your way, where there is love and wisdom. There is neither fear nor ignorance, where there is patience and humility. There is neither anger nor annoyance, where there is poverty and joy. There is neither greed nor avarice, where there is peace and contemplation. There is neither care nor restlessness, where there is fear of God to guard the dwelling. There no enemy can enter. Where there is mercy and prudence, there is neither excess nor harshness. This we know through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Thank you so much for these wonderful words in during the homily. And please be sure when we pray through the intercession of most sacred heart of Jesus, from heart of Jesus flowing to us joy, love, and hope, and peace. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.